Yo, wait, wait, that's not right, that's not right. Um, hey, what's up, guys? No, that's definitely not right, that's overused. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Should I even make this video? It's not even in my predetermined niche. Bro, you have 622 subs, it doesn't matter. Yeah, but if you were in a room with 622 people, that would be pretty impressive if they were all listening to you. Yeah, but also immensely intimidating. Imagine being on a stage in front of that many people and failing. So what, though? The only way you get better at something is by failing and learning from it. Aren't you the one who says objectively failing is good as long as you approach it from that mindset? Yeah, but 620 people in a room, man? That's a lot of people, bro. Yeah, but better to fail now and put in the reps instead of striving for perfection every single time and overthinking, right? <laughs> This is the battle that's been going on in my brain constantly recently. I have loads of new ideas to put into videos, but I've locked myself into the interview niche. But I've come to realize that I can literally create whatever I want to on this channel. Like, I can do whatever I want on here, man. It's not that serious. If I want to do interviews, I'm going to do interviews. If I want to do a vlog, I'm going to do a vlog. If I want to do something with strangers, I'm going to do something with strangers. If I want to do a podcast that I've done twice, I'll do a podcast. I can do whatever I want. And that's the beauty of it. One of my favorite creators on Instagram has the motto of make stuff even if it's bad. They say that the first 50 to 100 videos that you make on YouTube are gonna absolutely suck and that you're just gonna be figuring things out. It just so happens that on social media, you're failing publicly for everyone to see. You know, you got that little view metric in the corner. It's like, hey, you only got 100 views on your video. You kind of suck. And then YouTube Studio is like, hey, your last video was the worst out of the last 10. It's a beautiful thing. I've made about 200 videos total now, but most of them have been short form, all in the same kind of format. Since most of these were interview videos with one goal in mind, I kind of thought to myself that I needed to do all of these. Like, this is all I could do. All I can do really is interviews or go along with the motto that I had going. The thing is, is though, I have like a lot of ideas that I want to try out and a lot of things that are gonna frankly suck. I have like a dozen scripts that are done. I have pages and pages of thought dumps and idea dumps in this notebook right here. And all of them are for long form video. And while the viewership game for long form videos is a lot harder and a lot slower on YouTube in long form. I just said that twice. I just said that twice. I just messed up my script um, that is about being bad at what you're making and i don't have socks on that's that's not a good thing what, what, where do i what, what was i saying oh yeah that's right and while the viewership game for long form youtube videos is a lot harder and it takes a lot more time i want to not suck at making long form videos because these suck right now like what the hell am i doing i don't even have my socks on i got my podcast mic with the receiver plugged in my pocket i have headphones on i look goofy so i'm gonna make some bad videos coming up some of them are gonna be complete experiments some of them are gonna be new formats that i have no idea what i'm doing at like this for example like i wrote every single one of these words that I'm reading right now, I'm reading directly from it and I'm gonna hardly edit this and release it today. So you see how bad that was? Should I read that again? I should probably read that again, right? Like I have a, I, you can see my, what I'm reading off of. I have like three cameras with bad lighting and a, why, why am I recording this? This is like so bad. Oh, I'm kind of sweaty now with this hat on. Got my headphones on, my ears are warm. <laughs> you know when your ears are warm and like it makes the rest of your body warm? Just me? No? I'm also wearing pants just so I can hold this this audio recorder and I'm gonna hardly edit this video and just release it today just because yeah I had this other video that I've been working on that I wanted it to be done tonight it's supposed to be done tonight but it's not even close to where I want it to be so instead of overthinking and getting mad at myself for missing a self-induced deadline on this video that is completely different from what I usually make and has a totally different editing style and it's difficult for me i'm saying screw it and failing on purpose and just pressing publish get it do you get it i wore this hat on purpose shout out colin and smear because the only way to get better at something is by being bad at it first create stuff even when it's bad every single person sucked at what they want to get good at at some point whatever that is for you fail at it learn repeat that's all you got to do that's what everyone does with everything in life like i personally think that i suck at talking to a camera i still feel kind of awkward when i do this um what was i saying this is so bad. I can't believe I'm gonna release this. <gasps> Dude, gosh, this is so bad, bro. <laughs> Yo, should I post this? Dude, look at how sweaty, bro. Look at how, can you guys see this? Look at how sweaty this is. This is from my hand. I need to fix that, dude. I got like hyperhidrosis or something. Bro, who am I kidding? This isn't gonna get 620 views, God. 